I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing round the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories. I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. Hello my fellow medieval lords and thank you for joining me on this new series of Medieval Dynasty um, yeah, with Queen Bee and uh, yeah we're starting a new series it's been a hell of a week and a bit I'm going to apologize right now for um, not posting some videos this week uh, it was my intention but I yeah my computer has has just had a bit of an issue and uh, I ended up doing a full reset um, I stupidly um, deleted steam uh, by accident <laughs> as you do uh, didn't need to that was my own stupid mistake and therefore I've lost all my progress but of all the games that I've had to restart or the series I've had to restart this is one I'm not regretting restarting, don't get me wrong, I was absolutely loving my uh, my game as it was, but we've, we've got some updates that have come in and also I've learnt a lot in the first season of the last um, series, so this is going to be cool. First thing we need to do is talk to the Castellan Unigost, so let's do that. Okay, so I've had a chat with Unigost and he's given me a task. Uh, he's given me a hammer as well. He's told me that my uncle that I was coming here to find is now dead, which, let's face it, that wasn't what we were hoping for. But uh, he's very much respected, or was, and Unigos liked him. He's given me a hammer, uh, which uh, I believe was my uncle's, and he's told me to go build a house. I can have as much land as I want, as long as I pay, pay taxes. So we are, we're going to do a little bit of bartering first. Now, if you see these little kind of bags that are on my compass, you can see I've got exclamation mark. That's for uh, villagers who have tasks for me. And the bags are for people that are selling things. And Alina, show me your wares. Now she's got, um, she's got carrot seeds and, and stuff. So first off, we want to sell stuff to her. We want to sell all those wooden spears. And that's got us 99 uh, coin. I'm gonna sell her all the sticks as well. It gets us a little bit more. And before I do anything, I'm gonna say I'm going now goodbye. I'm gonna get a, a little bit more in the way of uh, spears crafted up. And the way we do this is we, we chop down a tree now. My ax, I've crafted up. It takes a couple of uh, a stone and it takes a few sticks and you press Q, you craft up a stone axe so it's really straightforward really simple for those of you that are joining us this time for the first time um, this game is super super good slick it's beautiful and there's so much to do you're going to love this as you can see in the bottom uh, left of my screen we have things like stamina we have health stamina is green health is red Water is blue and uh, food is yellow. So we're going to pick up all these logs. We're now nicely overburdened. We're going to queue. We're going to come into craft. And um, we're going to craft up some spears. So if I press R, 
craft 11 spears. Now, the most profitable thing for you to craft, I believe, is the knife and the, um, the axe. You can sell that for more than you can sell the spears, but you do have to find rocks. So the quickest thing um, for you to craft is chop down some trees, craft some wooden spears, and I bet if you find, uh, if you compare how many axes you can craft and sell in 24 hours with how many spears you can craft and sell, you're gonna find that the spears work out uh, better. Oh. Right, let's come in here, sell to this lady first. She's got, ooh, she's got salt, she's got flatbread, she's got loads of stuff. She's now selling 15 flatbread, which is more than she used to. I think she used to sell 10, so we're going to sell these sticks. What have we got now? 226. I'm going to get just five flatbread, I think. So we'll go. That'll do me for now. I'll go now, goodbye. Thank you. I'm going to craft a few more spears and then we're going to get some seeds before we go and we uh, set up camp and build a house. So let's get this done. Right now, um, berries. We can collect berries at the moment. They're unripe and they're gonna poison us, but we're not gonna be picking them to, uh, to eat them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pick them. We're gonna sell them. They will get us some money. Each uh, bush gives you like four or five berries. Each berry sells for one coin, so uh, we're going to do that. We're going to craft up some more spears. We're going to buy what we can, and then we're going to go, we're going to set up shop. We're going to pop ourselves down a little house, which is what uh, we need to do. Unigos wants us to uh, build ourselves a house. Okay, and with all that crafting, we've already unlocked a workshop. Let's see Adelena. Hello, Adelena. Uh, show me your wares. We will sell you eight wooden spears. We will sell you 13 sticks. We will sell you 55 unripe berries. We've got 250 coin already. So let's come into here and we're going to buy 10. Um, is that 12? 10. There we go. What have we got? 150 carrot seeds. 10. Brilliant. So we've got our seeds, we're going to need to get manure before we can plant them, but that's one thing off our, our hit list. Next thing, let us go and grab a glass of water, or a drink of water from down here. Nice. There we go. And uh, we're going to run to where we're going to be setting up our home. I'm going to set up in exactly the same place because I think it's a really, really good place for us to uh, be setting up. So once I get there, I'm going to I'm going to be back with you. Okay, guys, this is where I want to be setting up. I'm going to press the map so you can have a look. Um, Danica is over there. Gustavia is here. Borrowo is up here. It's it's a nice kind of central area. We've got a nice flat area to start building. Uh, we've got some woods there that we can start chopping things down. Water right next to us. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come into queue. We're going to say building. We're going to say houses. Small house. We need six logs. Let's go get those. So a maple tree gives us four logs. A birch tree gives us two. And uh, a pine tree gives us three. Now, when we have a shovel, we can actually get an extra log off each of these uh, trees. But for now, that's what we're working with. So I do hope everybody is doing well. And I am sorry that I'm having to restart this series, but I feel like I learned so much that it's, uh, it's not a bad thing. Right, so we've got eight, eight logs, plenty. Okay, so I'm gonna press Q. I'm gonna say craft a building, craft a house, craft a small house. Pop that there, that looks good. 
Uh, we've got a hammer, so we want to put that on our hot bar. And I'll just uh, put what I've got into building this. So I can build a couple of walls, I think. And then we're going to have to get gathering some more resources. Which we will do. So guys, do tell me, are you playing this game? What do you think of it? Are you watching it? Are you liking the uh, the progress? Is there anything that you don't like about it? The one thing that really uh, made me hesitate about buying it, and it made a few people hesitate, was that each season is, uh, is only three days long. And I didn't think that that was going to be enough time. I thought it was going to feel totally wrong and ruin the immersion in the game, but it doesn't. The, it, it's so nicely balanced. I was very happily proved wrong. Um, the uh, the three days you get a nice amount done doesn't seem like a really short amount of time. The day length is is quite decent as it is, so you really don't feel shortchanged. And uh, the progression is nice. Now this is a dynasty game. You leave um, you leave your what whatever you've built up to your child if you've got a child they continue your legacy so you when you die as a character your child you become your child and you play on now with with the setup that we've got it means that the, the game progresses you don't progress too fast and you get to that point where you can play as as your child eventually if, if if the seasons were too long if it was like 20 days per season or something like that or or even 10 it would feel to me i think having played it a little bit a little bit too long so i'm gonna pop the logs in here need more sticks more logs and straw okay so we've got a skill point uh in extraction now that's all about your mining, your cut, wood, wood cutting. Uh, so this will give you 30% faster logging. Now my top tip is all of these have like a knowledge tier, which is tier one. I would always put my point into uh, the knowledge tier first, because as you can see, it gives you plus one uh, skill point for for the activities you do. So. You're gonna you're gonna level up quicker if you put your points into that first. So that's what we're gonna do. There we go. So now we need straw. We need a couple more sticks. I think it's like four sticks we need. We're gonna grab those. We're gonna grab some sticks off the floor. When, uh, when you chop down a tree, you do get some sticks, which is quite nice. But uh, right now we just need a few more. Grab a few extra. I'm going to go into the woods a little ways. There's our tree there. Now, here in this clearing, I'm going to queue. I'm going to go to other traps I'm going to put, put myself down a rabbit trap for food now how many sticks have we got we needed four didn't we grab a couple extra just in case now i say for the most part um you want to get that knowledge that um your knowledge points when you do your skills but there is an exception, and when we get there, I'm going to show you in survival what I also put my points into before I've got my extraction points right up to uh, the top tier, or my survival point knowledge um, up to the top tier. There is one really key um, survival uh, tech that's really useful, and I will spec into that before my survival knowledge points are, are all spent. So, just going to get a few extra reeds. Uh, 
That'll do. That'll do. Let's come back. Oh, while we're here, top off on water and we'll get our hammer out. We'll run in here and we'll finish off our house. Almost done, guys. And as if by magic, we've got like beds, we've got a campfire, we've got a cauldron and a chest for storage. Awesome. So let's put some stuff away. I'm going to come into inventory. I'm going to eat me apples. And a dried meat. That'll do. Now, what else do we want to do? I think we're going to cut down another tree. We're going to get some stones. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get some stones and we're going to make another axe so we can cut down another tree. That would be a good idea. Some stones, right. These are morel mushrooms. Morel mushrooms are available in the springtime. Once you get out of your three days of spring, you get into summer. And the berries that we picked earlier, these berries over here, that are currently unripe, will turn ripe and uh, you can pick them and eat them. You can pick them now, as you saw, but you, you don't want to eat them now. Um, once you get out of summer, you get like autumn and you get a variety of other mushrooms. I think there's four different varieties that you can get. Um, and then during winter, yeah, you get subtle, quite frankly. Uh, <laughs> so what do we want to do? We want to come into queue. I want to craft a stone skinning knife for my task. And, and because we're going to need them, I'm going to queue again gonna craft a spear because we're gonna need one and then we're gonna come into queue and I want to craft a wooden hoe ready for planting my crops let next thing I haven't done I'm gonna cook my torch press F and look at that as if by magic guys so we're gonna come in here it's almost night like it's almost the next day so i'm now going to put the, the torch away because it it does run out i'm going to say sleep until the day right guys so next day looking very nice misty all very uh all very atmospheric before i go and hunt an animal oh oh but there's a rabbit there um what am i gonna do I'm going to turn around I'm going to put my spears away because these spears are not for selling they are for me we're going to unladen ourselves as much as we can going to keep a couple of meat on me and we're going to go back over and um, we're going to see Unigos we're going to tell him that we've built our humble abode and on the way we are going to collect some berries guys so I'm not going to bore you with this whole berry collecting thing I'm going to meet you back at Gustovia and uh, we'll, we'll see Unigos but um, I'm going to buy these I'm going to pick these to sell so I'll see you in a minute Okay guys, so I have spent quite some time picking up berries. I've got 684 of them. So let's come and see Adelina and say, show me your wares. Have some unripe berries and sell them to people so they can be poisoned. Marvellous. 734 coin now, guys. Um, question is, do I want any more onion seeds? I don't think I do at the moment. Now... The next thing I want to do is I want to come into my journal. I want to see Unigost. So I want to say track quest. And if I swivel around the map, I can see where he is. He's over here. Ooh. Is there anyone around? Seeing anybody? What's that? A simple torch. I can steal his knife and his simple torch, but me. 
Right, so good to see you settling in, my boy. How is life treating you? Not too bad. I have my own house. House. I don't starve. And people started talking to me more and more. Marvellous. I heard you picked up a hunting habit. Not yet, but I'm about to. Um, right, so basically... Um, did I... Punch him. <laughs> okay, so basically, I need to go and talk to Samba. Samba, um, there's a problem with wolves. Or Unigost has heard that Samba has been talking about a problem with wolves. He wants me to go and find out what it's all about. So, next thing I want to do is I want to come and talk to this dude and say, Show me your wares. I will buy. How much fertilizer? I'm going to buy. You know, I'm actually going to buy, like, 40 fertiliser. Then it's done, then. So, let's say, I'll go now, go buy. Oh, hello. Who are you? Right, I'm not going to talk to you because I haven't had a bath. Let me, uh, let me come down here. Grab a drink. Run into the water. Make sure I'm really nice and clean. Right. Top tricks. Get yourself clean before you speak to eligible women. Eligible women can be found sitting around the campfire. Before you speak to said eligible women, press F5 and quick save. So that if they don't say what you want to hear, you can uh, restart and try again. So let's talk to her. Uh, hey, do you have a minute? Um, sure, what is it? Don't ask said woman about her job. She hates it. Hey, how have you been lately? Awesome. She likes that kind of question. She's nice. We're clean. She's happy and biddable. So do you have a minute? Oh, they don't like the noble one. They're kind of like up and down as to whether they like the gossip one. So should we take a risk? She likes gossip awesome some of them don't they tell us not to stick our nose in but she's a gossiper we can work with her so let's go now goodbye and we're gonna then it tells you that a wife is necessary we are good with that we're gonna f5 again then we're e to talk do you have a minute let's ask her that again right so her approval is 70. I'm going to do nothing now. Because later on, and this is a bit of a spoiler, so if you don't want to hear it, put your hands over your ears. Later, like for like 10 seconds, later on, we're going to be asked to do some flirting. We're going to flirt with her, but not now, because it's not part of the quest. Okay, take your hands off your ears, you're fine. Uh, right, let's go. Let's go. We want to do some hunting next. So we're going to get back, we're going to grab some food, we're going to grab our spears and off we go. We've got our spears, let's go. So we want to put our spears on number one. Ooh, I nearly forgot. Let's get our stone skinning knife as well. Um, now, the other thing that I forgot to tell you when I was gathering all those berries, I, uh, I skilled up. I've now got um, two survival knowledge points um, invested into here. Now, all of my knowledge points, like whenever I skill up in a, in a sector, I will put it into knowledge before anything else, apart from the survival. 
The next thing we're going to go for is survival sense, and you will understand why. So we're going to go out, we're going to do some hunting, I'm going to gather some stuff up, hopefully um, upskill enough to be able to show you why I want to uh, spec into that survival instinct or whatever it's called. Um, and to, to kind of upskill, it's like literally gather sticks, gather berries, gather mushrooms, anything that you can gather is, is great. What I really would like is not, not to be um, hunting deer, which are a little bit, quite frankly, irritating to hunt, but to, to find a bison or something like that would be cool. That would be cool. Bison or boar, they run towards me instead of me having to chase them across the map. Let's have a look. Where are we? Let's go over this way towards Denica a bit. I mean, I suppose I could hunt a deer. Crouching works as well, guys. Crouching is really, really useful. Oops. Ah, oh, man, I forgot to aim high. I've never seen so many spears sticking out of, uh, of a doe. <laughs> Not in this game anyway. Oh, my God. Right, well we've got it, we 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 just now have to survive for a season, but I think we've got another one up here that we, I think we had started hunting this one as well, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Nice, there we go, much better. Brilliant. So we've hunted two, not one, and we're going to head back. Going to go back home. And uh, do you know what? I think on the way we're going to pick up what we can, try and spec up on our survival skill points. Um, I'm going to grab some berries, and we'll meet you back at home. Awesome guys, I just grabbed enough berries to uh, to enable me to um, go up just one more level and tomorrow I'm going to show you what I'm going to spec into, why I'm going to spec into it um, and I think you'll be mightily impressed. Now I'm just going to see, ah yes, look at this, guys, look can't put my torch on it but we've got a baby wabbit so let's uh, collect that gonna reset the trap lovely may as well grab these mushrooms we're gonna go into here now everything else I push all the points into the knowledge section before I do anything else apart from survival we're at tier we're at level two out of three on survival knowledge at this point i go into survival sense and i push a point into that and the reason i do that is that there are various resources out and about like these mushrooms there's also um st john's wort which is a yellow flower and there's also broadleaf plantain see um yeah see i just can't like in this in this night i can't even see the st john's wort and of course then there's feathers which we absolutely need if i then press my left alt right, right in the middle of the, the map those round things those are broadly plantain they will heal you guys so we will pick up a few of these so that if we do get injured they heal like 10 points at a time so i'm just going to get a few now I haven't got poisoned yet, but if you do, these little dudes, the St. John's Wart, absolutely 
necessity for healing poison. When you chop a tree down, feathers fall. Not all the time, but they're not all, you know, they do fall and they're not always so easy to see. But if you have your survival knowledge or whatever that is, survival sense, you can find them. Uh, left alt does take a bit of stamina, but not too much. And I hear that that isn't as bad as it was. So that'll do. That'll do, pig. We're full on food. We're going to put our torch away. We're going to sleep for the night. Now, there are a few things I want to do. I can see Samba at any point. What I can't do is uh, the things that are the seeds that I bought, I can't farm them after um, this season. So I want to come into Q, craft, building, farming, farm pot, plot, or field. And we have 10 seeds of each, so I want to do one, two, three, four. Five. Is that one, two, three, four, five? Boom. And we're going to do it again. Next thing, we're going to equip our hoe. Now we click two, and we're going to start. cultivating our fields. Now with any luck, we can go and steal a bag to put our seeds in so we can sow them. If not, I think we should have enough to be able to buy one. But that will save us from uh, having to craft one. Which, unless we build the sewing area, I think we can't do. So, uh, let's get this all hoed down. Hoed down! <laughs> uh, let's get it hoed and we'll go back to town. And while we're here, if we can, I'm going to see if we can pick up a bag. I, and by pick up, I mean steal. I'm going to... Just mosey on down here. Hello, everybody. Hi, don't mind me. Do not mind me. There's uh, a mallet there. There's a child there. Ah, oh, dude, you're sat outside. It looks like they bought. They put more people here. It's harder to steal things by the looks of things. There's a lot of people out here. This is not good. I mean, do we just do it anyway? Oh my god, it's such a small nerf to your dynasty reputation. Yes, we will. Let me have a look. Did we did we actually pick we did pick it up? Brilliant. Yeah, that's worth it because like to buy a bag is like hundred. Yeah, I'm not I'm not messing around there. Did that affect our approval with her? It didn't. Here do you have a minute? Have you heard any gossip lately? Here do you have a minute? Uh that'll do. That'll do, pig. I'm not gonna ask you anything more. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna go home. And I'm going to plant up my fields with my stolen bag. As you do. Now while I come down to the beautiful river, guys, to take a drink of water, crystal clear and very quenching, um, I once again want to say I'm super sorry that uh, the previous season came to such a stupidly abrupt end, uh, all courtesy of myself. It's my fault. And I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm super sorry, but 
I'm sorry not sorry in the sense that the amount that I've learned from just playing one season there is so much content that I'm I have not experienced and I've yet to experience and I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys that the bit that I did learn in that first year a stands me in good stead and B allows me to uh, to really help you guys to to give you as many tips as I possibly can so um, I'm really excited to be starting a new series and I hope that uh, in doing so I can help anyone that is is new in the game so let us um, start by we want to equip our bag this is how we do this guys so first we hoe then we equip our bag so we'll pop that on number three grab the bag and you want to right click select fertilizer then let's get rid of that head again and you need to fertilize your fields like a soul and there goes our farming knowledge that means we can start to craft up a food barn we may even do that and leave the resource storage till uh, later because we haven't quite unlocked that yet so we'll craft our food storage up first after we've done this Now don't forget guys if you play this and you've got any hints, tips or comments or criticisms, anything or even if you don't play this but you watch this series on another channel and there's a something that I'm missing something that I should do, something that I shouldn't do, that I am doing please do take the time to pop uh, a note in uh, or a comment in the video and don't forget for crying out loud if you like this video please click the like button and if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. Oh, I love this whole farmer, farmer thing. This life of farming is for me. I am a farmer. It's great. There's something super satisfying about farming in a game, but in this game especially, the animation is cool. It's, it just works so well. And when you remove that HUD, and like, you look at that, look at that landscape, the beautiful game, it is absolutely stunning. And the immersion that you get when you remove that HUD and it's, it's just you and, uh, and the gorgeous graphics and mechanics of the game, it's awesome. And we are going to have to put that HUD back in quickly, we're going to go number three, right click and we're going to plant some onions, some yanyans. Right click and what was the other one? It was carrots wasn't it? So yeah. I'm going to run back and I'm going to get just those few more seeds and I'll see you back at, uh, back at the village. Right guys, before I go in quickly, I'm just going to, I've uh, just chopped a couple of trees down, gathered the feathers that fell on the ground, pressing my left alt key and uh, I'm crafting up some spears. I just don't see the point in going into town without getting something, like having something to sell. At this point in the game, the more money that you can get, the better. Right, let's uh, see if that lady is in here that we can sell stuff to. She is. So we're going to say, show me your wares. I'm going to sell all the wooden spears we have. I'm going to buy... How much will that be? Some flatbread. Yeah, that'll do. I'll go and I'll go buy. So we've got 10 flatbread that we can uh, we can work with and then is that Adelina there? It's not, that's Alice. Alice? Who the is Alice? Here's Adelina. Show me your wares. Now we want two onion seeds. Oh 
Awesome. And two carrot seeds. Awesome. I'll go now. Goodbye. And I suppose while I'm here, I'm just going to run down. I'm going to grab a bath. I'm going to see if we can say anything new to, uh, to that lovely lady sat by the campfire. Hey, do you have a minute? How have you been lately? Approval plus 10. Ooh. Hey, do you have a minute? Oh, I'm not going to say anything. She's at approval 85%. I'll go now goodbye. Let's go back home. Let's plant those last couple of seeds up. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll start. We won't manage to finish, but we will start on our food storage, I think. Right, let's place down this food storage. I think I'm actually going to place it on the roadside. I'm going to take it, I'm going to tuck it right in close to uh, to my house like that now we've got mallet still we have but it's uh, it's not great so we need to craft up another hammer we can do that right now we come into here hammer right let's uh Put our hammer on a hot bar. See what we can get done before night's end. You do not, guys, you do not want to be going into uh, the next season without sleeping. So I'm not sure why I haven't got that far as to explore the reason. <laughs> what I do know is you just don't want to be doing it. So we want to get this done. If we can get it done, we'll get it done quickly. If uh, we get too close to... Uh, Get too close to um, let me put the log in to uh, the season change. We are gonna just go to sleep and do the rest tomorrow. Right, we're gonna go to bed. So we're gonna turn that off and sleep for the night. Awesome, guys. We are into um, we're now into summer, which is is pretty damn cool. I'm gonna take a nice screenshot of my partially partially crafted up uh, food storage next to my beautiful humble abode. As you can see, we've got onions to collect. We have carrots that are still um, growing, and uh, yeah, we're into summer. Uh, Complete some quests for neighbours and do some successful flirting. Well, we are at the point where we can literally go up to that woman and get our flirt on. But for now, this is where we're going to call it. Um, in the beginning of summer, we are uh, we're well and truly on our way to setting up our homestead and our uh, our little village. So if you would like to join me for episode two, that would be incredible. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, please. Like this, um, click the like button if you like this video. Put any comments in the comment section. And guys, until next time, do stay safe and take care.